into a play that's I just ran in here and, and man, I want to share this with y'all. Um, I, uh, uh, this is one of the most excited plays that I've, 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 I've seen and I just, uh, really want to share and break it down and get y'all's opinions. Y'all may be doing this all the time. Uh, I, I know that, uh, if I had a team tomorrow, I would implement this play right now. Um, let's just without, we'll break it down here in a minute, but let's get the overview. Let's look at it one more time. I want to give you the all 22 sideline effect here. Let's check it out. And then let's break it down and see why I'm so excited. This play uh, that I want to talk about today on coaching process wins, put it up on our YouTube channel. Um, and, and if you go back and you look at uh, an I formation outside zone play that I put up in a recent uh, post, um, and I'll put a card up here where you can go back and link up to that and, and see that, how the uh, uh, from under center, uh, the outside zone is run and something I'd gotten from Alex Gibbs watching him clinic on it was how the quarter, um, how the running back in the center uh, were in phase running the outside zone. One of the things that, that Alex Gibbs brought up was that <clears throat> he has not found a way to run an effective outside zone from a offset gun. Uh, so you notice in the clip that we're showing here, uh, we're talking about a gun left situation, not a pistol. Um, and he just hadn't found a way to effectively run the outside zone from an offset gun uh, position. I, I think this is a way. Um, and uh, the, the thing that uh, you as a coach has to consider, am I, am, you know, we worry about our center. A, he's got to make the shotgun snap. Now can I ask him to pull? I, uh, <clears throat> I contend that that's where your best line athlete needs to be. And if he is your best line athlete, that being the center, then this is something he can do. And, and number, I, I think even more, we're just talking about instilling confidence in a kid. Uh, think about how a center's, your center's eyes are going to light up when you say, hey, buddy, we you. We're going to pull you on this play, and you're going to be a big part of it, man. Um, that'll geek him up. So I'm I'm really excited about sharing this play, and I don't know to call it an outside zone. I don't know to call it uh, uh, a wrap ISO. Uh, I don't know to um, uh, call it um, uh, you know a read. I I, do, I think it's just a fascinating way to run effectively and and let's d dive deep so into it. you know one more time just really breaking it down again I, I i think it's got components of the outside zone uh that would be the same place that you know if you were coming from the eye uh i'm not so sure if i just put this right on right now and i said yeah they're running the outside zone from the I formation. And just that frozen clip right there, you'd probably go, yeah, okay. Um, the running back and the center are in phase. We have a full reach scheme right here. Uh, play side tackle on the five technique. We've got a hat on a hat. And some yardage is going to be made. Now let's go to the end zone look. Now if I showed you about 10 more clips, uh, which I'm not, we're just going to break down two. Uh, the most effective way is running to the bubble. That way the guard can block down or pin, and it allows the center the effective pull. Your offensive tackle isn't going to be wrong. Um, as he reaches on this play, he gets the full reach. 
and and the play is effective getting outside. In the next clip, as he reached steps, the end is way wide and upside. You're going to see the hole open up here. So let's just break it down where he's got the full reach. So the five technique dip, dips inside, back and center are in phase. And we're around. Let me run that where you can see it full, where you can study it. <clears throat> I think as you go back and you look and, and you rewind this here, you know, I, I love the I love the center's technique. Just, you know, the skip step. But going back to the Alex Gibbs running back and center in phase, and this gets him in phase. And we've got an effective outside zone. One other thing that I don't want to miss on here is you've got a running quarterback. It's a six-man box. We've got to, uh, you know, control this backside end, and so we control it with a read. I don't think that's necessary on this play because it's wide. He'll never hawk it down. Even if your backside tackle, which he is, is in a full reach. Your backside tackle is in a full reach. If he chases heel lines, he's not going to catch this play because we're either going to get here or here. His pursuit angle is not going to get him, so the read's off. Now, you can put the read on, but if you uh, don't want to run your quarterback, your quarterback's not an effective runner, and you've got to execute against a six-man box, what an excellent play. One more time so I don't keep freezing you here. Let me go back just a little bit. That way you can really study it, give you the full effect here. Let's see another clip, first from the sideline angle. Basically, you're getting the same look. Trips to the field, six-man box. They rotated a little bit, one high safety. Let's look at it from a full angle just to get the whole look here for you. And then let's get the end zone and break it down. So, again, you know, same situation. The difference here and the re reason I want to just go to right to this one second, you've got your reach step, and this kid can't be wrong, so he can be aggressive as he's going to reach. Now he'll just reverse wall and get him out. And this is where, you know, I said, hey, this can be a combination of the outside zone, which I thought uh, the first play did a good job of. Uh, but this – almost turns into an ISO, um, which I think is a neat effect. And I think this picture also gives you a better look at whether he comes and gives you a keep read here doesn't really matter because he's not going to bring it down. Let's look at the full picture and then let's break it down a little bit. So let's start on the uh, play side. You know, as he's going to reach, now the uh, five technique isn't going to be reached, and I just call it a reverse wall. Now we've got a great opening. We've got the pen effect right here that's walling off. He can't run heel lines. He's running heel lines, but it's not going to affect the play. Another skip step there, if you call it, whatever you term that technique with the center. And again, I want you to, you know, we're in spring right now, and I encourage you 
to utilize the athleticism of your center. Going back to the Alex Gibbs thought on center running back in phase, that's a great picture. So, you know, again, what I'm really geeked up about on this play is it gives you the outside zone effect from an offset gun. It allows you to run effectively against a six-man box. It basically takes the read off. Uh, you can keep it on. You know, this kid is still controlled somewhat by the quarterback if you have any kind of effect in a read on other plays. Good football play. <clears throat> Let me some feedback. Hit me up, DM me on Coach's Process Wins. Give us a comment um, on our channel. If you run the same play, if uh, you can share some clips with me, I'd, I'd love to see some of you guys and how you uh, run this play or have different schemes and different thoughts on it. Also, um, our Twitter handle is at process to win. And, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to see if you guys are running it. Don't forget my grinds. I didn't. So, Peppermint. Until next time, let us know what you think. Let us know what you need to add. Let's run this thing one more time and sign out.